Jesus, Rick, I think we're in the wrong universe again. Uh, shut up, Morty. This is why, uh, this is why I don't do impressions. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Brock Upside. Today we got ourselves a Blu-ray review of Rick and Morty Season 3. So as you can see here, I've got the collectible steelbook from Best Buy. Uh, I got this one because, well, I uh, just look at it. It's really nice and shiny. It's got some really nice original artwork. Uh, I mean, the, the regular Blu-ray packaging is nice too because it features nothing but Pickle Rick. But uh, yes, you can see here, you got some very nice uh, original artwork there, very Mad Max-like. And on the back, you got some more original artwork with Summer and the Meeseeks Cube and, uh, oh look, there's Pickle Rick. So then if we just, uh, open it up here, then you got your one disc Blu-ray over here because, you know, it's only like 10 episodes. And then, uh, you got... And you got this thing in here. God dang it, I dropped the freaking thing. And then you got this one thing in here, which when I got to Best Buy, it was like 25 minutes after it opened, so pretty much all the steelbooks were gone, and I managed to pick up the very last one. But then when I picked it up, I could hear this, hear something loose in there, which I was like, oh god dang it, what, what could possibly be loose in this thing? Uh, but turns out it was just this little, uh, Morty adventure card, like a punch card type thing. I guess this is for... The different adventures that Morty goes on, and uh, it's missing one there, and it's completely blank in the back. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't really know what to do with this now. But anyway, here's the digital download copy code, if it gets it first can have it. Enjoy all of season three, because it's, it's gonna take a while before we get to season four. But then behind the digital code, you got this black piece of paper with just a picture of Pickle Rick. But then on the back, it shows a website, getpicklerick.com, which I looked it up. It's, it's just this little contest thing where you can enter to win an original Pickle Rick figure, which I did enter, and uh, the contest ends at the end of August, so uh, we'll, 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 check back, we'll check back in on that. But anyway, if we just uh, take out the disc here to see the rest of the artwork, as you can see here, you got more of that super cool artwork. You got the Vindicators, you got... You got, you got, you got Morty, and you got Rick, and you, you got a, got a painting of a horse over there too, because why not? And then the disc looks really cool, it's just a regular old, it looks like the portal from the show, which is very nice, or it kind of looks like a moldy donut too, now that I'm looking at it closer. But anyway, picture and sound quality is really good. As usual, animated movies and shows, they always look really good on Blu-ray. And as far as bonus content goes, you got a lot of the similar stuff you have from other Rick and Morty Blu-rays, like animatics and certain shows, little uh, behind-the-scenes featurettes for the individual episodes. But one of the things I really liked about this Blu-ray is that it has this two-part Origins of Rick and Morty featurette, which talks about, you know, how Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon, man, they were creating these different little sketches together with friends and I was like hey Adult Swim called you got any ideas for a show and uh, uh the rest is history but yeah I was really looking forward to picking up Rick and Morty season three because I'm a big fan of the show I've got seasons one and two as well and uh yeah so I think if you're a big fan of Rick and Morty especially season three definitely go pick this up uh good luck getting the steelbook though because if you didn't get the best buy within the first 25 minutes of it opening today, then you might be out of luck. So, those are my thoughts on the Rick and Morty Season 3 Blu-ray. If you guys love Rick and Morty, if you've checked out Season 3, notice it down below, and we'll see you on the swiftness side.